video. Um, this video I'm going to show part of it, part of the Bing um, API web services. And the first thing you need to do is go to Microsoft.com Maps Developers slash Web dot ASPX, and you need to get a, a application ID before you can even uh, call the service. So I urge you to before you even try the code. Uh, you need to go to this site. Uh, so real quick, I'm going to show you the first part of it, uh, doing the geo coding. That means getting the longitude and uh, let me see, and latitude. So here I'm going to pick a random address. I'm going to pick, this is the White House address. I just didn't know what else to pick. Uh, so I'm going to hit search. And as you can see, we got back latitude and longitude for that specific uh, address. Now if you take this address, 38 point, here we go. Now the way we pass it is we separate this value or this data with a comma. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. Now this second part does the reverse. You pass it and it will give you the address from the above. It's a little bit different than I was suspecting, but that's how it works. And what I'm going to do now is show you the code. Now I have here a basic web form, a text box, and a button. Uh, when I do that, uh, let me go back. When I click on here, I'm passing the address, as you can see, the text box, into this call. And what this guy is doing is really simple. It takes a string value, and before you can continue, you need to get your key, an API key. And uh, what I've done here is I save my key in my configuration uh, file app settings, so I don't have to uh, do it statically. You know, I could without remembering the number, I could just save it here for future reference, and I could use the key anywhere in the code. So, anyways, here you do your request object. Now your credentials are here. Uh, here's where the key comes in place. This key from your you need to request one from Microsoft. After that, you do your query. Here's the address from the text box. And from there on, we do our, we set up filters here. Uh, the first one I have here is just return with high confidence results, something that is uh, almost exact to the address that I'm looking for. And here we pass object, uh, object um, the geocode options object and we pass the filters the filters are this one you can add more but in this case I just want that and that was the filter and this guy is the geo call options which is just a filter so we're passing the only options we have is a filter that's all we have and then here's the actual client that is gonna call uh, the service now I do need to point out that you need to have this piece of code, this um, parameter in the on this object. If not, it will fail. After that, when this guy calls GeoCode, uh, it will return a GeoCode response. And all you do is check if it has any values or length greater than zero. Then let's uh, grab. From the respond result it returns an array and then we get the location and we have two locations latitude and longitude and then you return your string result return it as you can see here it's just equals nothing and that's how you return uh, at least this portion of it so you can get this portion of it once you have this the rest of the code is, is, is just plug and play. So now when I do the reverse, it's the same thing. Kind of. We're doing the reverse. Now we're getting the, oops, we're grabbing the, uh, the longitude and latitude divided by, or split by a comma. And here's the code. 
same thing and of course you need the API key now this one as you can see we're using the reverse geocoding request and basically it's the same kind of code the only difference is here uh, the location is split by a comma and in here we grab the latitude and longitude by itself the zero and then one and then we pass it on to this property this location and then we do the the server's client again. Now I said again you need to have this portion of it if not it will fail. And like the previous code you do the reverse call geocoding request and same thing same thing checking on the length and then you get the display name which is in reverse we're talking about getting uh, from longitude and longitude uh, an actual address so that's when you get him in there like this in this case so you should play around with that um, options so now I just did uh, on the search on the third search over here what this is doing is you type something that you're looking for let's say I'm looking for Domino's in LA California that's what I'm searching for so now the code goes and checks uh, and, and give us a return of result in this case it gave me 10 uh, if you go if you play more with the code it will give you the address for each one of this one but in, in this quick demo or just quick tutorial it will just do the, the the names and the number or results we got back and the way this works is the same pretty much is a standard as you can see we grab stream value we go back here again the API key in this case we're doing a search request we're not doing a geo request and we grab both well, credentials are kind of the same same thing as before now the query is different uh, here we also split because uh, as you can see I did a comma here so dominoes comma and then uh, city and state so here we're grabbing the keywords that's dominoes and location is uh, LA California then we pass the query to the search request to this guy uh, filters here's where you might want to play around uh, with the filters but a detailed um, explanation of this code I'll give you the link so you can check it out now here's I found the link that I grab all this code from. Um, in this example, they're using, uh, I believe, a Windows presentation framework application, but you can use the same code for your ASPX uh, platform. So here's the, the link. Um, I'll put it on the screen later on, so it'll be easier to read. But this is the link, so you can see whole, this, uh, the whole project here. It tells you where you can get the WSDL file to call the servers to your web uh, reference in your uh, program in Visual Studio. And as you can see, here it is. So all I did was copy and paste, but I did run into trouble. And like I said, the code from the site doesn't have this, but you actually need it. If not, it won't run. At least on my case, on SPX, it didn't. It failed. So if you go down the page here you'll see what I did it's the same thing you see this is the reverse and the search surface the one that I just did now you can see this it's blank here it's not required but in my code you do need it if you google it you'll see that you need this parameter to make this code work so hopefully that will give you an idea um, how to use this stuff now let me do the last thing here uh, I don't have it here an image search I think I need uh, the actual yeah here we go this should give me an image back for the address so if you have any questions you know how to reach me thank you for watching